Hmm. Tommy, what on earth are you playing at? Luckily, we've got just the man to sort you out. My guys, my guys, I'm back. Got work to do. Hey Tommy, I see you being a naughty boy and forgot how to examine the peripheral vascular system. Have you even washed your hands? Students, guys, students. Come on then, let's start over again. After introducing and explaining the procedure, say that you expose the patient down to his or her underwear, but you should realise that in an OSCE, this may be unnecessary and you should only expose their limbs and abdomen. Hi there, have you got any pain at all today? No. I'm just going to examine your legs, okay? Inspect the patient for epigastric pulsations, scars and stigmata of venous insufficiency, such as lipodermatous sclerosis and varicose veins. Don't forget to note any amputations, Tommy. Note the colour of the patient's limbs and check for ulcers and gangrene. Check pressure points such as the heel, between the toes and the gaiter area for venous ulceration. You sure you're in no pain at all? Excellent! After inquiring about any pain, assess the temperature of the legs. When you reach the toes, check the capillary refill rate. Super Tommy! Now assess the peripheral pulses of the lower limb. The femoral pulse is located just below the mid-inguinal point, which is halfway between the pubic symphysis and the asis. The popliteal pulse is located deep within the popliteal fossa. Be aware that palpation may be uncomfortable for the patient. This may feel a little uncomfortable, just let me know if you want me to stop. Okay. The posterior tibial pulse is best felt when the foot is inverted and it is located halfway between the calcaneal tuberosity and the medial malleolus. Finally, dorsalis pedis is felt just lateral to the tendon of extensor hallucis longus. Asking the patient to point their big toe to the head accentuates the tendon, allowing easy location of the pulse. One may now offer to assess the radial pulse, checking for rate rhythm, radial radial or radial femoral delay. Do you have any scalp tenderness? No. Observe the temporal artery for unnatural prominence and ask about any scalp tenderness. Palpate for a AAA and then move on to the specialist tests of the vascular system. A positive Berger's test indicates critical limb ischemia. Lie the patient flat and raise one leg until pallor ensues. The angle at which this occurs is called Berger's angle measured between the sternum and the heel. The lower the angle, the worse the insufficiency. Now, quickly sit the patient up and observe for any reactive hyperemia. This is termed Berger's sunset sign because of the deep red colour you may see. Now Tommy, stand the patient up and if you notice any varicose things, offer to perform the Trendelenburg test. Ask the patient to lie down and raise the leg as per Berger's test. Milk the distended veins until they are empty and then place three fingers over the saphenofemoral junction and ask the patient to stand up again. If the varicose veins do not reappear, the junction is said to be incompetent. If they refill very quickly, then the level of incompetence is more likely to be at lower perforating veins. So, veins are there, they're blue. His arteries are there and they're bouncy, so I think he's alright. Stop, Tommy, stop. Full marks for effort, but Oskies are also about sounding slick, like so. Mr. Edwards is comfortable at rest and has a regular pulse of 78 beats per minute. He has a deep 3cm painless ulcer over his left heel, but all peripheral pulses are present. I would also like to assess his cardiovascular system, calculate both his BP and ankle brachial pressure index and then examine his peripheral neurological system. ABPI compares pressure between upper and lower limbs using a Doppler scan. Normal results are about one. But remember Tommy, calcification can lead to artificially high pressures. You may be asked to recall the six P's of an acute ischemic limb. These are 
Pala, pain, parasphesia, paralysis, pulselessness, and a perishingly cold limb. Well, Tommy, I hope you've learned something today. If you have, bravo! And if you haven't, well, it's your own fault for not listening well enough and I take no responsibility for any future mistakes you make. Good luck everyone, guys! Thank you!